Hi, yoga family. This is Angie Karen with Ohm Turtle Yoga Spa and Cafe, and we are on day two of our yoga marathon. We're getting ready to start our power flow class for today. So a power flow class is a more energetic class, um, a lot more sweaty, a lot more movement. Um, definitely not for beginners, but you can certainly try it if you want to. Just know that it is going to be more of an intense class. Now, my last class, it, all of the classes that I uploaded yesterday were perfect. There was no glitching whatsoever. My last class just had some glitching. Um, hopefully, that doesn't happen for you all. It wasn't on my side because our internet is fine, and it's certainly not on yours because there was multiple people that were having issues. So I'm guessing it's a Facebook thing. So let's all pray that it works out. Now, it did upload correctly. So uploading and watching the video later, if, you, if it gets glitchy now, it does upload correctly. It just might not be recording correctly. So just kind of give me a, a little blip if you're noticing glitches, just so I can keep an eye on it, but I'm just gonna keep rolling. All right, so today again is an intense class, not for beginners. It's more so for people looking for more of an athletic-based type class. It's gonna be fast, we're gonna be moving. Um, I'm gonna kick your butt for a little bit, then we're gonna have a Shavasana. Sound good? Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna step back on my mat. We're gonna begin in a standing posture today so that we can kind of loosen up our body quickly. Basically what I'm gonna do is just like what we did yesterday, I've got a sequence that is basically the same thing over and over again. However, I keep adding a pose. One pose and then I add another pose. We do the left side or the right side first and then the left side and then we keep move, moving from there. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go ahead and stretch a little bit. Let's go ahead and find our mountain pose. Our legs are hips width apart. We're gonna roll back on our heels, open our toes, and we're gonna smash the necks of our toes down on the mat so that we have a nice, strong foundation. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that first. And your mountain pose can be here. It might be here, it might be here. Whatever you want your mountain to look like, mine is gonna be here today. So we're just gonna have a nice strong gaze downwards, soft eyes, reflective. Find a drishti somewhere on the floor, that's something that's not moving. And just reflect on your practice today, just understand where you are, where your body is. Um, let's deliver loving kindness to our bodies, to the world. Set your affirmation for your practice today. So we all have a reason for practicing yoga. Um, so why don't you, instead of being squishy, like with intentions, like may I, I want, how about we say, I am, and then find your intention. So I am strong, I am powerful, I'm going to get through this, whatever it is that you want your affirmation to be, let's meditate on it for a moment. Beautiful, let's inhale up. Reaching towards the sky, let's exhale, swan dive down to our toes. We're just gonna warm our bodies up right now, sweeping down, pulling up all that energy, lifting high above your head, and exhale to heart center. So let's do that again, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale up. Exhale, heart center. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, this time we're gonna get a little bit of a half back here. So let's go ahead and lengthen the body. I'm gonna turn so you can see. Nice long flat back here. Let's go ahead and bring the arms out nice and wide. And then sweep down to the toes. Inhale, rise, be big. Hands at heart center. Beautiful, reach back behind you. Standing sharp, clasp the arms, lift upwards. Lift your eyeballs high, stretch. And then maybe, if possible, come forward and lift your arms up behind you. Lifting back up, I'm gonna face you again. Arms across, go ahead and stretch right here. Excellent, left arm across, go ahead and stretch right here. Beautiful, coming back to center, wide legs. We're just warming up for our power flow today. We wanna to make sure that our bodies are okay. We're gonna go ahead and inhale up, and we're gonna to turn towards our right leg, 
And we're gonna sweep down and sweep towards our left one and come all the way up in a big circle. Then we're gonna turn towards our right leg and we're gonna come down, sweeping, and then come all the way up again, big circle, and down. Sweep, up, beautiful, down. Sweep, kind of dangle here right now. We're gonna reverse and go the opposite direction. Up, down, up, down, up. Good, and let's go one more time. Down, up, and then we're gonna go ahead and hinge at the hips. So let's go ahead, hinging at the hips, dropping it down, soften those knees, bring your hands and palms to the ground. Let's go ahead and stretch into our back, into our hamstrings, dig deep here, ladies and gentlemen. Stretch as deep as you can. Good, kind of move your left knee in, move your left knee in and kind of stretch out onto that left side. Coming up onto your fingertips if you need to, stretching out onto the right side. Beautiful. Let's crawl down on the floor just for a quick second for a hero pose. If this is possible, we're just gonna try to stretch into this space right here. Thank you so much for the hearts. Hopefully that means it's not glitchy today. <laughs> Good. All right, how does that feel? Stretching into the thighs. Breathe, maybe even pop up if it's possible. Good, and then back down, wonderful. All right, are you ready? Let's go ahead and find ourselves back into a forward fold. If you are just now joining, this is a power flow class. This is not a class for beginners, but it's fun for beginners to watch. <laughs> it's definitely good to understand the terminologies because we move from one pose to another rather quickly. I'm checking just to check, okay? Let me know if it's glitchy, y'all. All right, wonderful, are you ready? Let's go ahead and stand at the top of your mountain. We're gonna start slow and then we're gonna get faster, okay? So let's inhale, rise, be big. And let's exhale, down swan dive. We're basically going to do what we did yesterday if you joined us yesterday. We're going to plant our hands on the mat and find us into a down dog. Before we add any poses, we're going to find ourselves into a plank, chaturanga, peel for cobra, roll the toes, shift back, child pose. Then we're going to pop back up into a down dog and step forward to the top of our mat. Inhaling and rising to the top of our mountain and exhale to heart center. So let's do that again. Inhale, rise, exhale, swan. Hands on the mat, down dog. Find your plank, chaturanga, cobra lift, roll those toes, shift back child pose. Pop up into your down dog. Good, jump or step to the top of the mat. Inhale, be big. All the way up, top of your mountain. Exhale, heart center. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, swan. Plant those hands down, dog step. Find yourself in your plank. Drop to your knees if you need to, chaturanga. Lift for cobra. Roll those toes, shift. Lift, down dog, excellent, step forward. Inhale, be big. Exhale, heart center. And now we add, you ready? Up, exhale, swan. Step back, down dog. Find your down dog, right leg up. We're moving into our warrior one, here we go, step. Shift back, your back foot's at a slight angle. Inhale, rise where you want, up. Exhale, pinwheel, down to the floor. Step back with that right foot. Find your down dog. Plank, knees or no knees. Chaturanga, cobra. Beautiful, shift back, child pose. Inhale, rise, down dog. Jump or step, top of the mat. Inhale, be big, here we go. Exhale, heart center. 
Inhale, rise. Now it's left side. Exhale, swan. Plant those hands. Step back, down dog. Good. Left leg comes up high. Leg, leg, left leg sticks to the top of the mat. We're working into our warrior one. Left side. Inhale. Settle. Exhale. Pin wheel down to the front. Step back. Put that left foot. Connect with your down dog. Float into your plank. Chaturanga. Heel for cobra. Roll those toes. Shift back. Child pose. Connect. Inhale, rise for your down dog. Good. Step or jump forward. Inhale, rise, be big. And exhale. Let's do the warrior one sequence one more time, okay? Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan. Go ahead and step back into your down dog. Good. Right leg always starts first for me. Right leg starts top of the mat. Pivot down, inhale, rise, warrior one. Connect. Swan dive down, pinwheel. Step on back, down dog, connect. When I say connect, that means actually find the pose. That doesn't mean flirt with the edge of it, that means pop into the pose. Then come on into your plank, knees or no knees. Chaturanga, peel for cobra. Roll your toes, shift back, child pose. Inhale, rise, down dog, and step to the top of your mat. Inhale, be big, mountain pose. Exhale, heart center. Good, left side, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive. Plant those hands, step back, down dog. Left leg up this time, connecting into our warrior one. Back foot pivots, rests down on the mat. Inhale, rise. Pop, settle, pinwheel. Good, step on back, down dog. Wonderful, this is not a beginner set, so if you're just now finding us, Chaturanga, and you're wondering what the heck we're doing, this is a power flow class for people who understand the terminologies and have been practicing for a while. Inhale up and down. Good. You ready? Let's add. Whew. I'm out of breath. Mm. So we're going to do warrior one and then we're going to connect to warrior two. Are you ready? Inhale up. Exhale, swan. Good. Plant those hands. Step back. Down dog. Good. Right leg comes up high. Right leg sticks to the top of the mat for warrior one. Preparation lift. Up. Settle. Back heel lifts, turns, drops, and we're finding ourselves in warrior two. When you are in warrior two, make sure you're long, make sure your knees are stacked, make sure your posture is right, okay? That's important. When I say connect, that means connected to the pose. So connected to the pose, good. Pinwheel to the front, your back heel pivots and turns with you, so let it. Lunge, step back, down dog. Plank it out, chaturanga, cobra, roll the toes, shift, child pose, lift down dog, stepping forward, top of the mat, be big, rise, and exhale, heart center, left side, inhale, rise, and swan dive, plant those hands, Go ahead, down top, down dog. Left leg this time, left leg sticks to the top of the mat. Right foot pivots downwards, inhale, rise for warrior one. Back heel lifts, back heel turns, drops, so is our arms for warrior two. Pinwheel forward, lunge just a smidge, that back heel follows you. Stepping back down dog. Beautiful, plank it out. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Shift back, child pose. And why don't we hang here for a break? Nice spot for a blood break. Let's go ahead and relax. Take a big deep breath in. 
How about five breaths in your child pose? I've been reading some principles and guidelines today, so I'm going to read you the one for today while you're in child pose resting. So if you want to, either in your mind's eye or maybe out loud if you feel okay. Thank you, Renee. I appreciate you. Okay, the meditation today is about understanding your senses, moderation in all of our actions. So meditate on this while you're breathing in your child pose. This is your break, your intermission. Your meditation for today is, I treat my others, I treat others and myself with respect. Can you repeat that? Recognizing the human and all individuals. When my energy is lost, I come home to the sacred space within, connecting to my source and my ultimate values. So as you're resting there in your child pose, think about your ultimate values and your sacred space. Maybe now that we are at home and we're forced to practice without each other and we're having to do it here, maybe this is your new sacred space or maybe it's shopping, or maybe it's cooking food, or maybe it's holding your children, whatever it is, find your sacred space. And while you're there, contemplate your ultimate values. Always leading with love and compassion for yourself and others. Are you ready to go? Go ahead and rise up into your down dog. Stepping forward into your forward fold. Inhale, rise, be big. Exhale, heart center. Beautiful. Relax here, my friends. We're going to add. We've got another pose that we're going to add. So we're warrior one. We're warrior two. And then we're going to come back. No, we're going to come forward. And then the next pose, we come back. Okay? So watch me. Let's do this together. Here we go. Inhale up. Swan dive. Step back, down dog. Good, connect your down dog. Right leg comes up, preparing for warrior one. Here we go, step, shift back. Back foot's at a slight angle, inhale, rise up. Connect, back foot lifts, turns, pivots, down, warrior two, good. This is where we're gonna flip our palm, come down, and lift up, and reach with our left arm, turning our face up towards the sun, good. Then we're going to swing back into our warrior two and pinwheel down to the front of the mat. Back foot turns with you. Step back into your down dog. Plank it out, knees or no knees. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Good, roll those toes, shift back, child pose quick. Inhale, up for your down dog. Step or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, rise, be big, arms as a mountain, exhale, heart center. Good, inhale, rise, exhale, swan. Go ahead and step back. Alternate the feet that you step back on. You're going to notice you always step back on the same one over and over again. See if you can alternate. Left leg up high, left leg sticks and prepares for warrior one. Pivot that back foot, inhale, rise, connect. Lift that back heel, pivot, turn, connect, warrior two. Turn, drop, reach. Good, turn your face up towards the sun. And then come on back into your warrior two. Connect before pinwheeling down to the front of the mat. Your back heel comes with you. Stepping back, down dog. Good, plank it out, knees or no knees. Chaturanga, heel for cobra. Shift back, connect into your child pose real quick before we launch up high. Excellent, wonderful, step forward. Forward fold, inhale, rise to your mountain. Exhale, heart center. One more time each side, here we go up. Exhale, swan. Step back. Down dog, good. Right leg comes up, preparation, warrior one. Step. 
Inhale, rise, warrior one. Back foot lifts, pivots, turns, drops, warrior two. Good, turn, flip, drop, up, and reach. Turn your face. Reconnect with your warrior two. Good, and then pinwheel. Down in the front of the mat, your back foot pivots, turns, sets, before you drop back into your dumb dog. Plank it out, knees or no knees, chaturanga. Inhale, rise. Good, roll your toes, shift. Connect to child pose real quick before you launch into your dumb dog. Stepping forward to the top of your mat. Forward fold before we grab onto our mountain lift. And exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan. Plant those hands, step it on back. Left side here, left leg up, left leg sticks. Pivot, turn, lift, warrior one. Back heel lifts, turns, drops, warrior two. If you're just now joining us, we're doing a sequence. It's basically over and over again, but adding a pose. Good. Flip, turn, come forward. Lift upwards and reach. Turn your face towards the sky, that's your connect. Good, back into your warrior two. Pinwheel, top of the mat, heel follows. Step back down dog. Coming forward into your plank, I'm gonna drop to my knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, breathe. Let's go ahead and shift back. Child pose. Let's take a quick little break here. Not as long as the last one, but about three breaths. Well done. Hang here for a few breaths. Ah, oh, thank you for the heart. All right. Looks like it's working. Hello, friends. You're doing well. Very, very good. Keep breathing. How about one more deep breath? Good. Go ahead and lift up into your down dog. Wonderful. Step forward to the top of your mat, forward fold, and let's all rise together into our mountain pose. Here we go. Up. Exhale, heart center. Well done, let's pause here for a moment. So I'm gonna break out of the pose and kind of show you where we're at. When we move up, we're gonna go warrior one, pop down warrior two. Then we're gonna do our float forward, turn like we did, back into our warrior two, and then we're gonna come back then do our pinwheel down, okay? So again, we're gonna go into our warrior one like we've been doing, open warrior two, coming forward, connect warrior two, and then back. Sound fun? Okay, let's go. Okay, shake it up, shake it up. This is a lot of work. Here we go. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan. Plant those hands, step back down, up. Here we go. Preparing for our warrior one, right leg comes up, right leg sticks to the top of the mat. Pivot, turn, inhale, rise, warrior one. Back heel lifts, turn, warrior two, drop it. Good, connect first, pivot down, lift upwards, and reach, turn your face towards the sun. And here's our new pose. We bring our left hand back, we scoop the sky with our right, here we go. Up, connect, and then pinwheel back to the top of the mat. Pivoting our back foot so that it follows with us. Drop back, child or er, down dog. Plank it out. Chaturanga. Peel for cobra. Roll those toes. Shift back. Launch back into your down dog. Stepping forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise, be big. And exhale, heart center. Quick break here. Inhale, rise. Left side now. Exhale. Left side back. Connect. Left leg up. Left leg top of the mat. Preparing for warrior one. Here we go, launch. Back heel lifts, turns, pivots. Warrior two. Good, roll, come forward, drop, lift, float, 
Shine through the sun. Come on back. Right hand reaches for the back of the thigh. Left arm lifts. Good. Pinwheels from the top of the mat. Back foot pivots. Turn. Launch. Good. Find yourself back into your plank. You may child pose at any time. Go ahead and drop. Heel for cobra. Shift back, child pose. Launch back, one more down dog. Stepping forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise, be big. And exhale, heart center. Good, let's pause here for a breath. Take a moment and reconnect with yourself and your body. Well done. Doing a good job here today, friends. Doing the best we can with what we have. Oh, big deep breath in. Well done. Do you got one more in you? One more? One more? Okay. So, warrior one, warrior two. Coming forward, connecting, coming back. This time, we marry our hands coming forward, okay? Then we'll release to the ground. Yes? So again, warrior one, warrior two, forward, back, pivot, turn, marry. Yes? And then hands to the ground. We got this? Here we go. Okay, top of your mat. You got it. We have this. Come on. One more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan. Plant those hands, step back, down dog. And here we go, right side launches, up. Warrior one, step to the top of the mat. Pivot the back foot down. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Beautiful. Let's make sure we do this with intention. It's our last set of the day. Gorgeous, back foot lifts, pivots, turns, so does our arms. Beautiful, come on forward, drop, lift, reach. Shine that gorgeous face to the sun. Come on back into your warrior two as we transition. Dropping that left hand, right arm scoops the sky. Good job, and here's where we marry. That back foot turns, pivots, so now we're at a balance pose. We drop into it for three, two, one, and then we slowly reach, resting our chest on our thighs if we need to. Step back into your down dog. Very good. We did it. Coming forward. Good. Plank. Chaturanga. Peel for Cobra. Anybody else's arms burning? So is my child pose. Inhale, rise. Four. Down dog. Step forward. Top of the mat. Grab onto all this energy that you're generating on your mat. Inhale and put it all over your body. And exhale. Good, we got this one more time. Up, left side, up. Exhale, swan. Plant those hands. Left foot, come on back. Lift it up, left foot. Step, prepare for warrior one. Back foot pivots, sets down. Inhale, rise. Beautiful, lift that back heel, drop it down. Warrior two. Settle, flip forward, come on forward. Reach, gorgeous face to the sky, you've got this. Back into your warrior two. Good, back hand drops, left arm lifts, up. There goes your affirmation right there, to the sky. Hands come forward to Mary. Our back foot pivots and turns, lifts up. Now we're on a balance pose, we settle. Three, two, one, drop. Good, lunge forward just a smidge. To step back into your dumb dog. Go ahead and come forward, plank. Drop to your knees. Chaturanga. Peel for cobra. Good. Roll those toes. Shift back, child pose before lifting into your dumb dog. Go ahead and step into your forward fold. Scoop up all that energy. This is it. Pull it up all over your body. And exhale the heart center. Oh, 
Let's go ahead and absorb that right now. What we just did, if you just joined us or you joined us mid-frame, mid-scene, don't worry, this is gonna be recorded and posted on Facebook. You can watch it whenever you want. It's a fabulous sex series. Grows from one pose to the next. It's my favorite. All right. So let's go ahead and bring ourselves down to the mat. Inhale, rise, and as best as you can, go ahead and come on down to your mat. I'm gonna sit on a bolster. If you've got a blanket, feel free to do that. Ah, good. Here we go. How you doing, sweet friends? Let's shake out those shoulders. Rolling the shoulders up and down. We just worked our tails off. Yeah, good job. Wonderful. How about we start with one of these? Because I know your arms are probably aching right now. Let's go ahead and cross. Fingertips are engaged. Mm. And make sure you get a shavasana in. You deserve it. Good. And open. And close. Lift up and stretch. Well done. Well done. So proud of you today. Thank you so much for joining us for our Power Flow class. Day two. Day two. We're going to be doing this all week long, trying to get you, get you something to do while you're all housed up at home, huh? Come on back. Reach those arms back. Oh my gosh. We can do this. Oh, are your arms as tight as mine? You got it. Mm, just kind of clasp your hands behind you. If you want, you can bring both hands to one side and intensify the stretch in your shoulder. And then reach back and pull it in on the other side. Ah, do you feel amazing? Doesn't yoga make you feel amazing? Ah. <laughs> Thanks for joining y'all. Good, let's relax. If you need to do anything else just to kind of get your body where it needs to be before we move into Shavasana, that's a good time for you. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go ahead and invite you into Shavasana in which you are just going to either sit like this. You might have too much energy to lay down or maybe you need to lay down. Typically Shavasana is on your back. Feel free to lay back. I love to put the, the bolster up underneath my knees if you have a pillow at home. Underneath your knees is good for posture. Otherwise, if you want to sit here with me, we'll meditate together. Nice, long, deep breath in and again. If you want to do this again and again and again, it's going to be uploaded. You can certainly watch this as many times as you want to throughout the week. So here we go. Let's close our eyes. And let's take a nice, long, deep breath in the nose all the way down to the belly. Good. Let's notice how our bodies feel right now and the energy that is coursing through us from our very energetic practice. Notice where you feel fatigued and tired. Notice where you have new found energy. Reconnecting with your affirmation that you created at the beginning of the class. Soften the space between your eyebrows and go ahead and unhinge the jaw. Allow your shoulders to slide off the neck. Just allow them to slide down and melt into themselves. Just kind of melt downwards. Imagine the back body muscles are just kind of softening, soothing. Your belly is supple. Your legs are long and lean. They feel very strong right now. The more you breathe right now, the more that your body is cleansing out that cortisol and adrenaline that we just created from our practice. Although it's good for times of fight or flight, we don't need that in us all the time, which is why we breathe before and after to help clean that out.
Another long, slow, deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one. Seven second exhale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Seven second exhale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Go ahead and create a little bit of movement in your body. Maybe stretching long if you're lying there on the mat or sitting up in your bolster. Maybe you just need to, oh, just kind of wake up a little bit. Palm tree sway. If you are on the ground, go ahead and roll up and find us in your seated posture. Continue to breathe, sweet friends. <clears throat> Good, and then together, let's end our practice. Let's take a nice long deep breath and let's open up our arms high to the room, sweeping in all this amazing energy we just created. Let's exhale as we draw that energy down to our heart center. And with a gentle bow, let's honor each other in our practice this morning with a namaste. Thank you so much for practicing today with us. I hope you're enjoying the Yogathon. We've been doing this for two days now, all the way from beginners classes to slow flow to power flow. Chair is next. Um, and then we are gonna end it with a kids class at 12 o'clock. So thank you so much for joining. Mwah! Love you so much. See you soon. Bye.